children in this video we are going to see about algorithmic strategies from chapter 4 here we would learn introduction to algorithmic strategies which is given in the page number 31 in our 12th standard computer science book let's see how the word algorithm comes here the word algorithm comes from the name of a persian author he has written a mathematics textbook in 825 His name is Abu Jafar Muhammad. So the word algorithm comes from the name of that Persian author. Actually, the word algorithm has come to refer to a method to solve a problem. So we can see what is an algorithm. An algorithm is a finite set of instructions to do a particular task. Here we are having a finite set of instructions to solve a particular task. first let's see an example for algorithm given simple example for an algorithm actually algorithm is a step by step procedure so for addition of two numbers we should need two input values which are num1 and num2 which is going to produce an output as sum after declaration of the variables we have to read the values here we need two numbers so we read two numbers read these two numbers we have to add these two numbers so which is the next step step 4 add num1 and num2 and assign the result in the variable sum so we have stored these two values in this sum variable in the next step we display the result and stop the program so in this algorithm first declare two variables then read the values then add two numbers and store it in some another variable and finally display the result This is simple algorithm for addition of two numbers. Let's see here. An algorithm is a finite set of instructions to do a particular task. Here our task is addition of two numbers. So to complete the task, we are writing the procedure. We are writing the set of instructions. So algorithm is a finite set of instructions. Next step. It is a step by step procedure. Each procedure must be given in step by step procedure. solving a given problem next step an algorithm can be implemented in any suitable programming language the algorithm is common for all the programming language once you have written the algorithm you can implement it in any different types of programming language you can write it in c programming language c++ java python you can implement that algorithm in any suitable programming language next step Algorithms must have input, output, and should satisfy the following characteristics: such as definiteness, correctness, and effectiveness. Each algorithm must have some input and output. In this example, we are having two input, num one and num two. These are two input. We are having single output. Sum is our output. So each algorithm we are having some input and output values. Each algorithm must satisfy the following characteristics. First one is definiteness. What is definiteness? All the operations must be defined in proper manner, which is called it as definiteness. Next, so what is correctness? Our algorithm must be produce correct output, which must be error free of algorithms. Next, another one is effectiveness. Means it has to produce exact output. it has to produce our desired output which is called it as effectiveness at the same time time complexity and space complexity also will be reduced time complexity means how much time it takes to complete the process space complexity means how much memory occupied so that also must be reduced so it has to produce exact output our desired output has to be produced so our algorithm must be satisfied these three different characteristics definiteness correctness and effectiveness point data are maintained and manipulated effectively through data structures here we are how we handling different types of data all the data must be maintained in proper manner it has to allow to do some manipulations also by using different types of data structures here given some of the data structures like arrays structures list triples dictionary etc these are all different types of data structures 
extra point algorithms can be developed to store manipulate and retrieve data from such data structures so we are having data we are storing the data after store the data it has to allow to do some manipulations this manipulation manipulation means it has to allow us to do some modifications do some operations like it has to allow to delete some data or modify some data or add new informations or sorting of information like this manipulations has to be done in this data next it has to allow us to retrieve the data from such data structures also to given some of the examples for data structures like arrays structure list tuples dictionary etc so let's see what is array array is a sequential collection of elements with the same data type here given integer a of 10 here a is our array name here 10 means here we can store maximum 10 elements here all the 10 elements in this same type of integer all the 10 elements must be in same type only next one is structure structure also a collection of elements with different data types array is a collection of elements with the same data type all are integer type but structure also a collection of elements with different data types here given structure elements first one is roll number integer mark also given as integer next name given as character like this string or float any different types of elements we can give it in structure next we can see about list and tuple actually list is a ordered sequential collection of elements each element separated by comma the list of elements must be given in the square bracket here we can do all the modifications list elements are mutable only mutable means we can do any modification list elements can be changeable suppose if you want to delete any element from the list you can delete it if you want to add new element into the list you can add it you can modify any existing element also so list elements are mutable mutable means changeable at the same time tuple also same as list but tuple elements must be given in parentheses and separated by comma but the tuple elements are immutable immutable means not able to change the elements once you construct it it will not allow us to change the element here we not able to add new element or delete an element from the tuple also this is the difference between list and tuple tuple elements are immutable not changeable but list elements are changeable mutable so we can see some data manipulations in our data structure here given simple example list in this list contains some of the elements here first one is search search is used to search some elements from the list here to search an item in a data structure using linear and binary search linear and binary search you will see later second one is sort sorting means arranging the elements in ascending or descending order here to sort items in a certain order order means ascending order or descending order using the methods such as bubble sort insertion sort selection sort etc here these are all different sorting methods we will see later one is insert insert is used to insert an element in some particular position or starting of the list or ending of the list so to insert an element item in a data structure next one is update update is used to update some elements example suppose if you want to update the element 32 to 50 we can update it we can do any modifications so to update an existing item already existing item only we can update it item in the data structure next is delete delete is used to delete an existing element to delete an existing items in a data structure here are, these are all various data manipulations in our data structure next we can see what is algorithmic strategy here the way of defining an algorithm is called algorithmic strategy the way of defining the algorithm is called it as algorithmic strategy here given simple example to calculate factorial for the given value n 
see how we can define algorithm for this factorial of n number to find factorial of a number first we have to define a function we are given the function name as fact here fact fact is the function name n n means for which number you are going to find factorial suppose if you want to find factorial for 3 means n will consist as 3 first we are defining the function then we call the function recursively until the number of record iteration is reached here recursive function means if the function calls itself repeatedly which is called it as recursive recursive means calls itself repeatedly until the number of record iteration is reached this is a simple procedure for defining the algorithm of factorial of n number children in this video we have seen about algorithm what is the definition of algorithm and seen simple example also thank you students